In tonight's Detroit 2020 report, the focus is on jobs at this year's Mackinac Policy Conference. 7 Action News anchor Stephen Clark is live on Mackinac Island right now. And Steve, how's it going? The coming world war is an all-out global war for good jobs, Carolyn and Dave. That ominous prediction came from a man today who's got pretty good numbers to back him up. I'll explain in a second. But he also told me Detroit and Michigan are well-armed to win that war. I've been CEO of Gallup. For Jim Clifton runs the company that's been asking people questions for 80 years. The Gallup poll primarily gauges Americans' opinions on their own health and well-being. What people really want is development. They actually do want to grow in the job. They want to improve. But Clifton told me today his polls have discovered only 20% of Americans feel energized by their jobs. 50% are apathetic. And 30% are downright miserable. I asked some of our analysts, I said, what are we calling them? They said, actively disengaged. <laughs> and I said, why do we call, why do we call them that? And only a Gallup analyst would come up with actively disengaged. <laughs> They said because they're not just miserable in their chair, they're, they go around and they're actively miserable. <laughs> Clifton told the Mackinac attendees creating good jobs is at least as important as creating jobs. And he also says Michigan business and political leaders need to identify and test school kids in the Detroit area right now. Because statistically, he says 2% can change the world. you got 5,000 people that can just, that can absolutely change Detroit. Change, change, change the whole country. The first thing that you got to do is you got to find them, and you need to get them in internships. In your, they can be in nonprofits, they can be in government, but especially in business. So, in order to try to find some of those five, some of those kids that can change the world, Mayor Duggan today announced a program to put 5,000 Detroit teens to work next summer. So maybe among them are some of those that can change the world. Well, that's a wrap here for day one on Mackinac. As you see, the official stuff is finished, and well, the unofficial party on the porch continues.